Welcome back to Let's Play Zenodu Next. Last time we met Fleuray and learned that history is a liar sometimes, much like science. And um, it was news to her that people thought that she managed to take out Galsus. Turns out that it was the Black Bride Liaise who had actually frozen everything in time. And we are the Chosen of the Sacred Blade Dragon Slayer. And then we explored Castle Strange Rock a bit and got irritated with a lot of the platforming in the game. This time we're continuing to explore, but... Oh right, I couldn't actually go that way. We're continuing to explore the castle. Not a whole lot more to it than that. <laughs> Let's see, can I just... Yeah, I can just go from here into that weird... No, I can't. I actually have to do... Going into that annoying platform room. Let's just throw those on. But, uh, yeah. It does... This game is pretty good. It's not, like, the most amazing Falcom game ever. How much money is this memoir worth? A thousand. But, uh, like, I, I'd play East Origin or the original East over this again, but this isn't bad. I mean, take that more as praise to those games than to the detriment of this game. Alright, so we've got two entryways into this room. The other one is upstairs, but I'm curious where this leads. Because the upstairs has the uh, Hydras and Griffins. Ooh, an elixir! Pretty handy. Now to run past a bunch of particular... Well, no, I might as well kill the bats because it's two hits to kill them with back attacks. And I need the experience because I can't equip the full plate right now. Free heal. Can't really complain about that. Wow, it just actually turned its back to me. Pretty amazing. I can at least get side attacks if I knock it down in an unfortunate manner. I wonder if you get the accuracy boost, like a minor accuracy boost on side attacks, or if the only accuracy boost is on back attacks, because it's a guaranteed hit. Which I think is a fair rule. Like, I think attacking from behind an enemy... Well, I guess there's always natural hide. I, I'm thinking in terms of tabletop, because I've been playing a lot of, um... A D&D &D Pool of Radiance. The NES version specifically, which... Is missing some features, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and Pathfinder Kingmaker, which... 
that game is rough around the edges, certainly, but it is a real fun time. Panacea. Ugh. How is there a back to the It's probably like a mirror of the room. Uh wow. I feel like if I go this way oh. There's a statue here. Like, the torches open the gate. There are coffins down there, and one of them has been opened. One of them is broken. Two of them have been opened. Oh. Um. I lit all of them. thought. How did I miss that one? Wow, well, I just missed both of the back ones somehow, I guess. Chimeras. We fought zombie forms of these guys before, so the regular kind should be really easy. Yeah. I mean, their breath kind of hurts, but... So I like how the hitbox does not line up with the animation almost at all. Uh, does there happen to be a chest back here? No. No. But, uh, as I was saying, the NES version of Pool of Radiance is missing some things. <laughs> um, like, here's one, a big one, one that I consider to be a big one. Cure wounds does not damage undead. Yeah. Ooh, I've got money I should store away. Alright, so we've opened a good shortcut. The dungeon designs really remind me of um, Demon Souls. Like, the areas themselves aren't interconnected for the most part besides like the Eternal Maze and Clover Ruin. But, like, you get a bunch of shortcuts within a dungeon to open up. Not sure why that door was there again.
Oh no, the doors respawn for some reason. Oh, boss fight. No. Kinda? Very? Kinda? An ogre. Like the creature, not the Borderlands gun or class mod. Alright, this guy is a bit of a thing, but... Okay, good. Hard to tell which attack he's gonna use. I feel like I should not let him get into that magic circle when it appears. Like I should lure him away from it. I have no idea if that's actually influential on if he does the shield, but... Okay, that wasn't so bad. And he dropped another elixir? Holy crap. Um, are these punch walls? No, that's upstairs. Let's warp. Get 600 gold out and stock back up on healing potions. other ones are still way too expensive. Like, that's, like, to use. I hold on to them for the bonus bosses and final boss, but I'm not gonna use the larges. Wow, we're still, like, in the first half of the video, too. We've got plenty of time to make some progress. I'm not happy about the lack of keys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. I wish I got some more bones more readily, but, yeah. I actually just asked in the Falcom subreddit if, like, this isn't pertinent to the channel because Dragon Slayer predates Ys, and Ys is about as simplistic of an RPG as I want to LP. <laughs> God, why are the doors... Oh, that didn't actually cost me a key, it was just closed. Do you drop anything, or is it just magic potions? Which, don't get me wrong, are handy, but... Ugh, I'd rather have the potion. I'm just gonna... Say goodbye to that fun party. Huh. More chimeras down there. Fixed camera segment. Oh, 
What's down here? More shortcuts? I really want to see if the healers can drop anything cool. Because I feel like they should. But I keep getting black onyxes. <laughs> It's a good room to have a shortcut to. Oh man, and there's a guardian shrine there. When I do my big weapon skill grind, I'm also going to level up the uh, sorcerian guardian to max if I haven't already. Because that is going to come in handy. Look at this fun party. This cool Sunday I'm having. Oh, those orbs are heals. I was like, are those attacks? Uh, let me make sure I take out the Master Goblin last, because, again, I feel like they might drop a weapon or an armor. Money is nice, too. Goes into my full plate fund. Whoop point. That doesn't help me a whole lot right now. But hey, I'll activate it. Central. Wow. We are further in here than I expected, but we haven't even found that disk key, to be fair. This is the disc key, isn't it? No, it's a spell book for rock. Oh, it's not elemental damage. Uh, I feel like there might be a punchable wall here. What's over here again? Oh, I can't get over there. Now I'm in backtrack what did I miss mode.
Do I need to run through here with the spectacles on, maybe? There may be just a chest I missed. So this is a chimera room. I'm already almost out of keys again. Looks like a crack in the wall, but I can't punch it because there's no room over there. Wait, what? Oh, that's an enemy. I was gonna say. So I don't have a disk key. Yeah, and I was doing well, and now I'm at this complete standstill. If I go north, nothing. I didn't go through that door. Okay. Oh. All right. What's the end goal on this one? To build a staircase up to that. Make a bridge. Do that. Twice. Um, I can push that down. I think this should work. Uh, 
I think I get the gist of this one, at least. Which is more than I can say for a lot of the other block puzzles in this game. Suboptimal, but I think I can still work with this. Like, I want to use these to their maximum potential. Alright, I need the ramp to be this big. I need to be able to push that there. Luckily, this is one of those things that's probably open enough to have multiple solutions, so... down one block to being able to do it that way. screw this up. Do the corner smashing to free the other three. Okay. Two... Take this time to make this bridge. Like I said, this one is actually fairly open-ended. Which I appreciate. One more. Wow, they even give you uh, crates to spare for this one.
Hopefully this just leads to the disc and I don't have to do it again, just in case though. No! Oh, I have a bone. Yes, card the key. Oh god, okay. So that needs to be too tall. 1.5, Of course, now the game gives me the easy puzzles. Probably because these are the required ones, though. No, I... If I push this off... Uh, okay... Alright, let's just try... Ah, I see. Because I can just smack this and start going up from there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that did that one that way. No, it goes this way. Do, do, do. But then how do I... I can't do it that way, though. Yes, I can, I just... I... Why did I attack? How come... What what input seemed like attack there, game? Let me move this real quick. There. Again, don't know why I'm doing this one this way. doing this one wrong again anyway. Text guide! I didn't want to, but... Let's 
sue me. I'm bad at these puzzles specifically. I messed that up. Oh, it's a jump. Please be the disc. It was optional! Yay! Place three! There's nothing beyond or any- no, that's just a window. There's another door. Alright, next time on Let's Play Zanadu next. Well, you gotta get through that door. Uh, see you guys then.